everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here i am getting some new followers which is just so sweet and so special so if you've hit that subscribe button that means so much to me thank you i should have started this video honestly a couple of days ago but i just have been so just warped i don't even know if warped like time warp <laughs> into this project and so i thought i needed to just start it now before i get way too ahead so you can't really see here i have this whole tub of some new yarn i went to joanne's well i did a pickup order my husband went and picked it up of yarn i i got this idea to make a crochet baby blanket and i decided to actually make it into a pattern and this will be my very first endeavor at writing a pattern and I, yeah i guess just writing a pattern i've definitely made up crochet blankets before like without a pattern just kind of like doing it on my own and i decided to kind of do that here and then also make it into a pattern so my goal here is by the time you see this video the pattern will be out and so i am really really excited about that so i thought i would go ahead and just do kind of a little bit over what this pattern this blanket idea is eventually i want to do a video tutorial for this specific blanket too so that will come out at some point it'll definitely come out after the pattern the written pattern but i wanted to kind of challenge myself with creating a whole new design and then also writing it into a pattern and publishing it and you know kind of learning and growing as a yarn lover you know knit and crochet so that is kind of where that is at i'm going to actually go get the inspiration for this blanket i'm going to set my coffee down i went to a book sale this morning here in phoenix the vnsa i think vn i think vnsa i went by myself my daughter is sick she has a cold which is really sad so it's been a rough few days for her just lack of sleep and coughing so i actually have she i put her down for a nap so i have the monitor going so i might be able to hear her coughing um or hear the monitor itself but anyways i went to a bookstore this morning book sale this morning picked up a whole bunch of books for ava i got a few for myself as well but i was really mostly going for ava even though she has so many there's no space for her books but i wanted to go there but anyways all that to say I had like three huge bags of books and my, my neck and shoulders hurt so bad. Everyone there had like shopping carts and like actual shopping carts and suitcases and it's this huge thing. Like there are like thousands of people there. Like it was huge. This was my first year going. I didn't even know that it existed. But anyways, they had the right idea with some sort of rolling cart and I didn't know. I actually didn't think I was going to buy as many books as I did. So yeah, my shoulders hurt so bad. But anyways, okay, hold that thought. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you the books that I picked up um, this morning since we're already talking about it. So I picked up a whole bunch of Agatha Christie books that I don't have. I don't think that I have them. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure I don't. I do have a ton of her books, and so this is um, a good chunk. And then I picked up four other ones for myself as well that I am excited to read these. I had a whole bunch for myself, but I put them back because I just, I was going mostly for Ava. And then these are all the books that I picked up for Ava. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a ton of them. I um, was actually cleaning them, so that's why they're kind of on the floor and stand open, just so they, you know, are a little bit clean since they're used in baby books and you know kids and germs and biting and licking and everything like that okay i'm taking you into the playroom just ignore the mess that it is it you know it is what it is so these are all of ava's books that she has and i don't know if <laughs> all the new ones will fit maybe on this bookshelf here i'll take her toys down or maybe like on top i'll find a place for it but yeah so those are ava's collection of books that are growing. So I'm talking about books a lot because while I was reading a book to Ava, I got the idea of making a themed blanket for that book. And that book is Llama Llama Red Pajama. This is one of Ava's favorite books. She loves books. I read so many books to her at least 20 minimum of 20 a day to however many like we'll read one book over and over and over anyways we were reading this book and at the point while we were reading it i was in my mind kind of thinking like i want to do something creative i don't know what i want to do blah 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 we're reading we're reading and there's a page where he baby llama pulls up his blanket and I was like, light bulb moment. Let me crochet a blanket inspired by the collection or the colors of his quilts. And this particular copy, the back pages, has this whole 
just kind of colored plaid quilt colored section and I just thought it's right there like the colors that I need the blanket inspiration is right there so I am going to design and create a baby llama inspired baby blanket and I am so excited which then you know got my wheels turning with other popular books or other books that Ava loves that I can make a themed blanket and my thinking also too is this would be a great gift for someone in your life or yourself who has a child you can give them the book and make the blanket and that would be like what a sweet and special gift so yeah I was then after I decided that I had to decide the colors of yarn that I wanted to get and that in and of itself was really fun but also a challenge so I you know, went through here, I was trying to decide first off the size of the blanket, how many squares I wanted to do, everything like that. And when you look at this, like the blue color definitely pops. You kind of think it's blue, but then you also are like, hmm, it could be pink, could be yellow. So I opted to go for more of a pink blanket, but you can always sub out the pink if you want more blues, if it's gonna be for a boy, or you just don't want as many pinks. So in my particular pattern, I do have more pink than blue, but you can always customize it. It's so customizable. So yeah, I started um, just kind of the past couple of days working on it and designing, you know, how many squares, the length of the squares, what stitch I want to do, how am I going to construct it, everything like that. And so, okay, where was I? I wanted to go check on her. Poor thing. She is just so sleepy. When I was gone this morning, my husband was with her and she didn't nap the whole day, like the whole morning time. I came home like around one and she hadn't napped all that time and she obviously is sick and was up a lot last night i slept in her room last night just to kind of you know be there and so she was up a lot one because i was in there and then also too like her coughing would wake her up so anyways a poor baby she's had she's had a rough few days so i went to check on her so i don't know where i was saying oh yesterday with a blanket I spent a lot of time just kind of figuring out the construction of it rather than like crocheting. So that took a lot of time kind of figuring everything out as well. Just a lot of like thinking of an idea, trying it out and not working, having to redo it and um, figuring out like what works, like what do I like and everything like that. So that was a good learning experience for me too because when I have something in my mind, I think, okay, this has to work. And then when it doesn't, then I get frustrated. So I have to kind of retrain that thinking and kind of like no this is exciting like let's figure out like what does work so that has been kind of my focus with yesterday so today i know like i'm like okay i know how to finish up this blanket and so i'm going to be working on that as well so let me just kind of show you what i have so i'm working with so i'm working with just a worsted weight acrylic yarn from joann's it's their big twist um, I am not using this color. I, like I said, had done an online order, like a pickup, so I actually didn't see it in person. So this is definitely way too teal for me, for my liking specifically. It's definitely more bold and bright and vivid in person than it's picking up, but this is what the brand is, Big Twist. So I'm going to use eight different colors and I'll kind of show you kind of the eight colors that I have here. I was cleaning out my closet and I emptied out this tub, which ended up being perfect for all of like all of my yarn. This project, I can just dump it here and then put it away so Ava can't get it. So it actually worked out really well. So I have done one panel. So this blanket is going to be a paneled blanket. We're going to do eight squares by eight panels or eight rows. So it's like an eight by eight. So it comes out to be, I'm gonna do a border. So without the border, it's like 36 to 37 inches. I'm gonna add a border. Obviously the border is optional, but this is what it is going to be, kind of the, the color scheme of this blanket. And then I am going to do a border around each panel before I seam them together. And you can kind of tell a little bit here, even though all the yarn weights are the same, they don't actually work up the same, which is interesting. So for example, a pink, comes out a little bit more thin and the was it the yellow yeah the yellow came out more thick so even though I did the same exact thing the squares did kind of turn out to be a little bit of a different size so this one is going to be a little bit smaller and this one is going to be a little bit bigger so that's just you know that's just part of it part of the yarn experience and the different yarn weights even though it's the exact same brand exact same everything like it's just you know one might be a little bit thinner than the others once it's seamed together and I don't know if I'll end up blocking it, probably do like a steam block at the end, and then it's gonna look 
really good so i'm working on the second panel we're going to do eight total so i'm going to um go ahead and actually just start working on this so it is going to be more of a kind of color blocked sort of blanket and i am so excited it's so fun it's really easy this is a really great beginner friendly pattern i am excited to continue working on this and designing it and um, I'm writing down all of my notes. As I go, I have this journal that I've had, um, I got at the beginning of last year, so I'm really not even that far um, in it, but I just write any little, any little notes or if I'm like tallying up something, I'll like do tallies. If I'm writing down like different projects or like this is keeping track of a sock that I was making. So I have a whole bunch of like things like that, um, projects that I'm working on, projects I wanna work on, and it's more so just like scribbles and notes and everything like that. So this is kind of like the construction of the blanket. I'm gonna kind of obviously pretty it up, make it look better um, for the pattern, but I am really excited. This is all, you know, blanket ideas that I have. So I am really excited to work on this. I am so tired. Probably should do a nap, honestly, but I don't know if if Ava's gonna sleep. And I do really wanna get this blanket worked on. I just made a pot of coffee. So I think I'm gonna get comfortable and just do some crocheting, but I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a kind of documentation of me making my first pattern. And it's been really fun. It's been great. And you know, it was fun trying to decide like what crochet stitch I want to do, how big the squares were gonna be, how wide and, everything like that so I am um, having a lot of fun with this so I'm going to continue doing that I'll just kind of check in and let you know everything that's going on so yeah that is going to be uh, I guess the long introduction to this video Okay, so it is Sunday. I just went and got some lotion because my hands are really dry. One, it's winter. Two, I live in the desert, so it's already extra dry here. And then three, working with yarn. It dries up your hands. So yeah, it's Sunday, so happy Sunday. Um, yesterday, after I kind of did my little check-in with you, I honestly didn't get any crocheting done on my blanket. I was not able to work on it, and that's okay. My family takes priority, and so, yeah, I just didn't have the time. I was also really tired, so I ended up getting um, as much sleep as I could, and then I woke up with my daughter, so I did not wake up any earlier to work on this project, but all that to say, she's down for a nap, and I am going to sit here and just really kind of crank out as much as I can on this blanket. This morning, I kind of wrote down my kind of plan for this week so like I said it's Sunday by Saturday hopefully even Friday I want this pattern to be published in live I have never written a pattern so once I'm actually done with the blanket done with the construction with all of my notes I'm gonna then go to my computer and just kind of write it all down and then that's when I'm gonna start doing my research as to how to even format a pattern I've been looking at a whole ton of pattern patterns blanket patterns on Pinterest and blogs and everything like that um, so I am getting an idea of kind of how they should be written and with blankets it's gonna be a lot easier than if it was like a knitted garment or something really you know intricate where I would need a tech editor so I think for this one I'm gonna be okay um, because it is so simple but yeah I am really excited so um, hopefully it turns out and then when it is published um, I would love constructive criticism and feedback um, good or bad um, please be kind but yeah I would love to to know your thoughts about it as well so um, I am really excited going forward Forward with hopefully making more blankets and patterns and everything like that I think it, it will be fun it's very fun for me it's fun having this challenge and so yeah I wanted to create this kind of week-long challenge to myself to kind of finish this blanket and get this pattern out this week so I think that would be that'd be really fun so yeah wish me luck but for right now I'm going to sit work on my crochet blanket I'm on the third panel I need eight so I would love to do three and four today 
if possible. Today is also the Super Bowl, which so we are going to try to um, turn the game on just to watch, um, if not at least for the halftime show. And I'm not, I'm not a sports fan. I'm not really a Taylor Swift fan, so. But I think we'll still have fun. My husband got some fun like snacks, like chips and dip, and um, just because Ava is still sick, so we are staying home. My husband's not feeling well either, so we're just gonna have a very chill, low-key sort of Sunday afternoon. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you here, work on my crochet, try to knock out as many panels um, today and the rest of this week as I can, and then we're gonna get started with actually writing down the pattern, which I'm excited and nervous about, so that's going to be fun. Okay, so it is now Monday, and I just made myself a cup of coffee, and I'm sitting down to do some crocheting. I just put Ava down for a nap. I did a very quick cleanup from lunch, like all the dishes and everything like that. So I am hoping she's going to sleep. I think that she will. I think I've mentioned that she has had a cold, so she's definitely so much better today. But she has also been taking two good naps, although one of the days she didn't nap all day long. So that was interesting. However, I'm hoping that she's gonna take this nap. So yeah, I just put her down, quickly did the dishes, made myself a cup of coffee. This is actually the third cup. I made one this morning. We went out to run a couple of errands. I got a Starbucks while I was out, um, just like a small latte. And then I made myself another cup at home. So here we go. So I have done, I have now done four complete panels. I'm so excited. So I have four more to go after I do all eight. That's the number that I think will be for the blanket. So yeah, so I am hoping to do four more. And then once I have all eight, I'm going to lay them out, make sure it's the size that I want, and then I will stitch them together. But yeah, so I've done four. Um, I think I'm right on track with my schedule. So like I had said, I really want this pattern to be live by Saturday, but I think I can do it Friday. Um, it just depends on how long it's gonna actually take me to write this pattern. I think it's gonna be actually pretty simple because it's a very, very easy beginner crochet blanket. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot more simple, but I definitely wanna make sure it's as perfect as I can get it for sure. So I'm gonna sit down and work as much as I can. I'm actually gonna move all my stuff over to the couch so I can get a little bit more comfy. I've been sitting here, I'm at the dining room table and I've been sitting here a lot because I do find that sitting at a table or this sort of structured place really does help me crochet faster or kind of be more focused on what I'm doing. But sometimes I do, of course, want to get comfortable. Today being one of those days, so I'm going to go to the couch and I'm going to sit and obviously, <laughs> and then um, I'd love to get a whole panel done while she's sleeping. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to do my best. So that is what I'm going to do now, but I just want to do a little bit of a check-in. Say I've completed four panels and I have four more to go. So um, let's just continue on crocheting. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a groove in this and it's such a fun fun pattern to make obviously i'm spending a ton of time like all of my spare time working on this so it is being made up in less than a week so it definitely can be made within a week for sure if you just sit down and focus um probably like in a few days if you have no distractions but obviously this is kind of the back burner i'm a mom and um, a homemaker so those are my priorities um in theory today i'm going to ignore all the laundry and the bedroom in there and crochet but yeah that's just kind of where my priorities are so yeah i'm going to um sit down and crochet and i'm really excited but i just wanted to do a little bit of a check-in so i hope that you are doing well if you are making it this far into the video thank you for watching but yeah so let's go ahead and continue crocheting Okay, so it's Tuesday. <laughs> I just finished up completing all of the strips that I need for the blanket. I ended up doing two less than what was in my mind, but after I finished the sixth one, I laid them all out, and I think it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to attempt to lay these out to show you before I seam them together. So the next steps will be seaming them and then doing a border, and so I'm gonna to try to complete the blanket tonight. I started doing a little bit of research and then just kind of writing down just like a general idea of the pattern. And then I'm going to type it up, take pictures. I'll probably do pictures tomorrow if I finish the blanket tonight. And then I'll for sure be ahead of schedule and I'm really, really excited. But yeah, I'm gonna lay out the strips. They're not gonna be in the order that I seen them in just because um, with this little one, I just 
you know, I work with the time that I have, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna lay them out, show you just kind of the general gist of what it looks like um, as the, of the panels. And then, yeah, tonight I'm gonna seam them together, do a border. I think I'll do like a single crochet border initially, and then I'll do probably a double crochet border. I think that's what I'll end up doing. Yeah, I'm really excited. I was kind of starting to feel just a little slump coming on today. And I was like, okay, I got two more panels to go. And then um, after I laid it out and got the sizing and everything, I realized that um, the size is good. So I, I'm really excited for this one. So yeah, let me lay out the panels and then I'll show you what it looks like. Let's not play with that. Okay, so this is, <laughs> there's Eva. <laughs> So these are all the panels. So they're not in the order that they will be based off the color, but that is just kind of the general gist of what they are. So I'm just going to seam them together. And like I said, do my border. And I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I we I wove in the ends as I went, so I'm very happy that I did that. Yeah, it's gonna be a blanket. I bet you'll love it. I bet you'll love it. Yeah, so after I kind of complete it tonight, I might do a little bit of a steam block just because I have had them folded. So I'll do a little bit of a steam block. I'll take pictures, I'll write up the pattern, and I will kind of take you along with me with writing up the pattern. I started doing a lot of research, and for blankets, they're, it's a lot simpler for a pattern. So I'm excited for that one, but I'm gonna continue doing research, writing it down, taking really pretty pictures, and then eventually publishing it, and then editing this video and getting this one out. But for right now, now I'm going to go take this little one to the park and enjoy the weather and go outside, get some fresh air. Say hi, are you saying hi? Yeah. Um, I do have a lot to clean up as well. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So I always make like a cake or something for um, my husband. So I'm gonna try to get the house all cleaned Are up. We? Okay, that is gonna be the, I guess, check-in for right now. Um, next time you see me, the blanket will be done. The pattern will hopefully be written or I'll take you along as I'm writing the pattern and then getting to the end of this journey, which I'm very excited about. It's been really, really fun. Yeah, you snuck with the blanket? She's loving this blanket. Okay. Okay, everyone, I did it. I completed the blanket. The blanket is all done. I'm gonna stand back and show you. I finished the blanket and the pattern is done and I am about to upload it to Etsy as we speak and I am so excited. So I'm gonna get the pattern up today. I'm gonna hopefully even get this video up today, but I just wanted to come on here and close off this video. I know that this did end up being um, a longer video. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. I had so much fun making this blanket. I didn't end up steam blocking it, and that's fine. Um, blanket, you could take it or leave it. I think this definitely could use a little bit of a steam block, but it's going to get loved on. I'm going to give it to my daughter. She's going to love it. And I just had such a fun time working on this pattern, crocheting it, writing up the pattern, and now I'm about to publish it on Etsy, and I am so excited. So it is going to be live when you are watching this, so I will have it listed down below, uh, and I'm so excited. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really, really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this pattern, go ahead, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to make it or if you like the idea of creating a 
blanket inspired by a book. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.